What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by my video. So Hulk Hogan is in the news over something that's quote unquote allegedly racist again. It was a woman that was an ambassador for his beer line that he promoting. Uh, she claims that he fired her because she was black. He must have had somebody hire her without looking at the pictures. You know, you would think that, you know, if you're getting somebody that's supposed to be an ambassador or somebody that's going to promote your product, you would pick out who you want to model your product. You know, you'd be like, yeah, I want her, I want them, I want them, I want them, you know. He must have had like a, a team to hire people and then when, they, when she came on the scene, allegedly, he was like, no. So these claims begin when the ambassador in question, Essence Janae, I hope I'm not butchering your last name, made them on TikTok. Shared photos and videos of herself working at a real American beer promotion event, including one in which she is posing with Hogan. However, the caption accompanying the video claims that she was hired to be an ambassador for the brand for a week, but was let go one day in after Hogan discovered she was black. So, like I said, she must have showed up and he probably put on a straight face and everything. Jenna shared a series of photos on TikTok the following day in which she doesn't outright claim she was let go for racist reasons, but heavily implies that's why she lost her job. The second post includes images of ambassadors who replaced her, all of whom are white. It also includes a message interaction Jenna claims is between her and the agency in which she's told it was the client's Hogan decision to let her go and that the rest of the week's event had been canceled. So this photo here, story time, Hogan paid me to be the brand ambassador and this happened. So then you get this one, my contract was for a week. You see how he's smiling and everything she's in. After one day of promoting his brand, he canceled my contract because I don't know why. But these are the new brand ambassadors he hired. Yeah, so we got a brunette and a blonde. So I guess here's the interaction with the agency. It says, this is the weird part. Essence, you didn't do anything wrong at all. In fact, I'm sure you did great. But this client wants us to cancel the rest of the events this week. I'm really sorry. She like, OMG, what happened? Are they only taking me off of the events? Or are they canceling the events completely? All the rest of the events are canceled completely. The client equals Hulk Hogan and his team. They said the thing was canceled. So here's another image that she posted. Oh, it was canceled. Okay. I was told the events were being canceled completely, but I see this the next day. Don't look canceled to me. I guess they didn't have room for us on the boat. And you got three women. You know, you got like a you know, brunette. You got a blonde over here. And you got another blonde right there. And this. So this is the event. What y'all think? I like to play devil's advocate. Maybe she was too friendly or something. They lied and said it was canceled, but it wasn't. So you know it's something fishy. You know it wasn't like something she did because they would have said, look, you did this and that and this and that, and we have to let you go because you wasn't professional. You didn't do this and that. They couldn't say all that. They do lie and say that type of stuff. People do racist stuff. They always do it where they think they can get away with it, where it's not blatantly letting you know that this was racist and this is because of your skin color or anything. So they had to come up with something. So they lied and said that it was canceled the next day, but it wasn't. And they didn't think that she was going to find out about it. The events had not been canceled, hence Essence being able to share images of the ambassadors who replaced her. The Real American Beer has since issued a statement claiming the accusations are false. But she has the daggone text messages. So, are you saying the text messages are fake? See, that's what I'm saying. They do stuff like this, you know? Okay, so here's what they said. Real American Beer simply terminated its short-term relationship with the third-party marketing agency. Hulk Hogan was not involved in the decision, and race was not a factor. We are in communication with the agency in an attempt to clear the misunderstanding and incorrect information. The girl behind her in one of the pictures is black. So he probably figured, nah, I got to market this to certain people. It's called the American beer. You don't know what I'm brother? It's called American beer. And I got these women. No, I need to market to a certain type of people. And you know how you can tell the problem is that. Because I know about Hulk Hogan. I know how he gets down. I wasn't the one to go with anyway. Ain't that much money in the world to make me roll with somebody that on camera when he didn't think nobody was looking. Talk down about black people. So they had two black women out there. I don't even see Essence and this other girl. And they were black. If Essence wasn't aware of Hogan's history of racism before making the claims she made this week, then she will be now. The top comments on both of their posts quickly detailed that Hogan has been in trouble in the past for racist comments he made while being recorded. WWE previously cut ties with Hogan after the recording went public, even removing him from the Hall of Fame before he was reinstated three years later. Hogan since worked with the WWE on multiple occasions. 
Oh yeah, they knew what they were gonna do. They were like, yeah, we gonna just just suspend you a couple of years. We are gonna put you back up there though. You know, cause that's what they do. They be like, yeah, we are gonna have to punish you. You got caught. You supposed to keep it on the hush hush. You not supposed to be blatantly and blunt about it. So anyway, what y'all think? Let me know in your comment section what y'all think about this. You know what type of people he marketing to. <laughs> I ain't even gotta say no more. With the brand and the name and everything else, for real, anybody probably be shocked if he did have black people marketing his beer. Okay, y'all, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all share, like, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. I'm Chris Magma. I'll see y'all next video.